Frank Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromwins Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's always good to see you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back, Soul Family. Lovely to see you here too. Now, I already have incense burning. Eh, I'm going to get this one out. The incense goes everywhere. The ash, oh my gosh. Let me just wiggle it around. I hope you guys are doing well, that you've had a good day, or if you're starting your day, that you have an awesome blessed one. Okay, let's pop this incense over here. And let's get the bell out. So. <laughs> dream download that I had. It was very specific, so I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but Spirit wanted me to explain it. I had to write it down because sometimes I don't remember what it is that the I don't remember my dream downloads unless I get my voice recorder out and just speak into it the minute I wake up. So I had to take notes. And in the dream download, there were a group of people and they were going into like a daycare and nursery to pick up someone's child. And I knew that I had to meet up with this person, like this mother. Um, I didn't know her. I couldn't tell if I was me or if I was just someone if that makes sense, someone in the collective. And I had someone in the collective and I was meeting up with this parent because she had something of mine and I had to give her something that, I don't know if it was like passing of information, something going on there. I didn't get like um, bad it, bad vibes from her or anything like that. Um, the dad was blocked from seeing his child or had limited access and I didn't get bad vibes from that person either. It was more to do with um, the mother of the child feeling like the father of the child had been cheating or had done something dishonest and was there's this dysfunctionality of like well you hurt me so i'm going to hurt you so you can't see your child that's the only thing that's kind of like don't do that don't do that the child was really young as well like the the child was like two maybe three at a push maybe four um the dad is either a tattooist, a painter, an illustrator, someone who's very creative, very creative. Because um, I, I don't know if there was something about like either they're going through a separation or lawyers were involved. And it's like talk through my lawyers. And I was shown like a letter from the lawyer. I, and I just remember everybody was like walking in a row, like with buggies or like push chairs, whatever you call them in America or other countries. Um, and... I remember being shown like this letter from the lawyer, but it wasn't an actual letter. It was this person's illustrations and this person's like wildly talented, wildly talented. Because I remember seeing like the paintings or like the, the illustrations that looked like paintings. And there was a lot of like animals, animal profiles, people. Um, but this person's letters were... Um, there was something to do with like proving this person's innocence. I don't know how that links in. And it was that dynamic. That's all I got from that dream download. I was also shown like a woman just previous to that part of the dream download, a woman sitting on like the bleachers or it was, the, yeah, it was like the bleachers. Um, and then she fell asleep. And when she fell asleep, she was wearing like the goggles and like the little nose pinch thing and like the cap that you see synchronized swimmers wearing. And then it panned out and she was asleep underwater, but everyone else was. And then she was wearing a swimsuit and she woke up, but she didn't woke up and choke or anything. She was just like breathing normally. And she looked around like what's going on and everybody else was asleep underwater. So this is something to do with like emotions. OK, so I don't know who specifically this is connected to when it comes to this dad being blocked from them, the, you know, the, their child um, creativity. I don't know if this person's coming towards you, if this person's watching you, if this is you, if it is. And this reading is definitely for you. This one. OK, so I have been told to take out um, my ro romantic cards for some reason. This one or that one? That one. OK, I'm told to go for this one first. So pop you down there. And I took these ones out, but now they're telling me no. So let me pop them down there. Let's see what wants to come out. So I've got Imagine coming out first. This could be an air sign. Um, please don't get me to name all of the signs because I remember them on any given day and not all of them. Um, but you've got the fates. So There's something that's destined. Regeneration. So this could be a past life connection for someone here. Clean it up. 
and think of so there's somebody here who may have had some sort of spiritual awakening this could be a past lover for someone but regeneration there that number condensing down to a 10 is about the completion of something okay but i'm getting past life for someone clean it up somebody is expanding on life choices i heard or someone needs to um cleanse something from the past a, com a karmic release maybe they're thinking about this you've also got 44 up there which condenses down to four eight and then halved again to four so this is about family anything else that needs to come out on this situation thank you happy happy someone's very up upset yeah someone here feels like they've run out of time they ran out of time to do something they weren't able to unlock something. Happy, happy is upside down. You've got higher power coming out too. So I, maybe someone is really upset that someone's enlightened or someone's had some sort of epiphany when it comes to a family dynamic. Time for a nap. Why? Okay, this is being very vague. Why? Someone here has been questioning maybe past lives or there's some sort of change in perception. Time for a nap and clean it up. Somebody had some sort of dream download. Why am I getting, is this the father or the mother? It's the dad. So this person who is either the tattooist, they could have a lot of tattoos. Maybe you have a lot of tattoos. Maybe you're an illustrator or painter. Maybe you're a tattooist. Exchanging gifts and to be fair. And TikTok. I feel like there is something here with, um, it's not been a fair exchange of something. It's not been a fair exchange or something that they're learning has been very difficult for them. Very difficult. Maybe it's been an eye opener what's happening to them or the way things have ended or the way things, the way they've separated from someone has been, it's been really hard for them to either let go or it's, there's a, there's a choice or decision they have to make and it's a hard one. There may be sacrifices that they have to they have to put in place. And they're really questioning why they have to or have grown up. It doesn't mean that this person's immature. It means it's almost like when you're going through like a dark night of the soul, you're going through something quite tough. It's having to see the bigger picture. It can be really flipping hard. Especially with that, you know, the cheesy saying of all the cliched saying of, you know, it's happening for you, not to you. Well, it is flipping happening to you. It is happening to you. You experience it. You feel it. You are going through that. OK, but it's more to do with the fact that you are going through that, but you're going through that for a reason. You're going through it for a reason. And you may not see that reason straight away. But there's been some sort of epiphany for this person and it has been hard it's been a hard pill to swallow, a hard pill to swallow, a change in the wind and chaos and conflict. Yeah, this person is finding it very difficult. How does this t tie into the collective? You want to take that one out or that one? Which one? That one, okay. And then that one. Okay, let's find out how you tie into this or how this resonates for you. I wish I hadn't put them here because now I can only pick up like three at a time. Okay, sat on them like a little chicken on an egg. Now they're nice and warm. Reconsider your alliances, make new connections. I feel like this person may feel like they've been backstabbed in some way or maybe you felt like you were backstabbed. There's some sort of betrayal that's coming to light either for you or for this person. It may also be that there's a dawning or realisation that whoever this person is, whoever this masculine energy is, this dad, that this person may be realising that um, I heard part of it is their fault. And they heard, I heard part of it is your fault or time to grow up. They're having some sort of realisation that they should have chosen you over her. Or they should have chosen earlier or sooner. This is Spiderweb. Reconsider your alliances, make new connections. The number 14 condensing down to a 5 is a massive change. And you've got unyielding sadness of looking back, endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past and, neg and negative nostalgia. So I don't know if you share um, a past with this person. And I had for someone a course. 
I don't know if you've done the same course as this person. You may have gone to university, you may have gone to college with this person. But you've got here the mermaid of immersion, complete commitment. So in the past, this person may have not have committed or have been scared of commitment. They may have not seen you as commitment material or you may have not seen this person as commitment material. Someone ghosted someone or someone didn't see someone as an option and they picked someone that they thought was. And they're now realising how big of an effort that was or how much they're having to sacrifice now to man up or grow up or because i'm i don't use the word man up in any way shape or form but i feel like this person does because you've got you are unlike anyone else your contradictions and complexities are interesting but it's upside down so at some point they didn't see you as an option or they were told not to see you as an option because you might not even be you may have not have been um what's the word enmeshed or entwined or had any type of relations with this person but you've got challenges use your imagination in reverse and wisdom as light as a feather someone may have told this person not to, to invest in you because you are messy and that's coming back to like um i just done a reading talking about this talking about you know somebody who um was supposed to come forward and kind of like drag your name through the mud and go oh you know collective 15 years ago this is what they were like blah 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 and this person no longer wishing to do that so i don't know if this person took on face value a rumor a light or some sort of slanderous something about you they're realizing how wrong they got it how wrong they got it they've got a child now with this person and it says here new skills advanced training rapid improvements they got stuck they literally got stuck and whoever it was told them that, you know, you aren't going to grow. You aren't the type of person to be around because you're messy. Your energy is chaotic. You're irresponsible or you drink too much or you do this too much or that too much or whatever too much. OK, and this person did not want those challenges. Eat me is on one side. OK, they didn't want to be around maybe substance abuse. Maybe they thought that you were partying too hard, taking whatever. You have a, a mighty shield. I, I will show you whom to trust. This person was made to believe that they were choosing someone that was um, trustworthy, that was protected. And I'm getting like high vibrational protected. They picked the wrong one. A fair, you know, they, they, they got the wrong, the raw end of the deal is what I'm hearing. Heed wide counsel and listen. So they thought that they were getting really good counsel. I heard someone's mother or someone's elder was telling them, no, 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 choose this person. And it says here, something is about to end for now. So something within a family, the Akashic libraries are not open to this person. They weren't able to get, um, it's, they weren't able to get information that was valid or they weren't, they, they didn't feel like they were in the position to there's something about question the information they were given why and there they may be banging their head on the wall like why didn't i question this why did i just take this on face value and you've got here an elder who will teach you upside down and the kashik libraries are, are open upside down so somebody here was listening to lies or listening to some sort of rumors who this tattooist or illustrator or creative person is about how almost like my daughter or this person will you know will inspire trust and confidence this person and loves animals you should be going for this person over here don't go for collective no 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 no. wisdom is light as a feather and if you look at my previous reading where i'm wearing the same color top um it was talking about how owls are important this and whoever it is that they chose turns out to be some some sort of like succubus that is like works with the energy of Venus to enchant people and like drain their money and their energy and blah, 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 blah. So I don't know if when I was in the um, that dream download, the reason why I didn't feel anything when it comes to the mum is because when it comes to their child, they love their child. Not so much um, other people that they can't use, maybe. I don't know, but I was blocked off from feeling their energy. It was more the transaction of what was happening, okay? Almost like when... You're reading a newspaper and you're given information. You're not actually told about, unless the news, you know, the newspaper has a certain angle, then they will tell you the character 
of that person, that person, and that, that person through their eyes. But usually you're just given information. That's what I was given, just the information rather than the character of the person. Interesting. Someone here needs to either cleanse their crown chakra or this masculine is realizing that they have to cleanse their crown chakra a lot they had some some sort of information come through about um this lie or this something something was cleansed for them in dream time i heard they were ready or it was time it was time for them to be able to see this and i had to become a great leader you inspire trust and confidence they've been thinking about you a lot they've been thinking about you a lot a lot anything else on this deck that we need to know find solutions in unknown places in the darkness is upside down they realize that they had kind of been sticking their head in the sand for a very long time positive uplifting new friends i don't know if this person was blocking out um or they had a, or there was an outside energy blocking new connections coming in for them change is natural good and yes it can hurt so this person that's where this sacrifice comes in or this person realizing that they have to they have to change their life or they have this decision they have to make and a sacrifice they have to make and it's hard it's hard it's hard 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 it's really hard for them Because they're going to have to say goodbye to an old life. Maybe they're going to have to leave their child behind. I don't know. That's really sad. But they know that if they want to have positive, uplifting friends, they have to have that change. They need to have that change. They need to be around people that they can trust, that they can, you know, put their confidence in, where they can actually get counsel that is wise, where people will listen to them, where people aren't trying to use them. I don't know if you inspire trust in them. I heard you always did, but this person was easily led down the wrong garden path. I don't know if you visited this person in dreamland or if they, they visited you. And I heard your, your connection is undeniable. Look, it's time to be a great leader. With red hair. What is this about red hair coming through so much? One more card, please. Thank you. I will watch over you's come out. This person, I feel like this person may be like protecting you in dream state, or you are meeting up with this person in dream state. And for a long time, you may have been blocked from this person's energy, or they may have been blocked from yours, and something was removed in the astral realm. And that makes sense because you know what? I woke up um last night, spoke straight into my recorder, or oh, dream that download, dream download, dream download, went back to sleep again. And then when I woke up, um i had another dream download like they've been coming in thick and fast and in this one it was so weird and i was just like no it's because i've been watching stranger things but still i don't see nothing as a, co a coincidence it's a sign or a synchronicity especially if it resonates and in this dream download it was literally like a minute long but it was in a house didn't know the house didn't know the people didn't know my surroundings but i knew that I was there to help someone and it was pitch black and there was like the moon shining through the window and it was a hallway and it was like it was someone's home and there was like tinges of blue like this color all right tinges of blue coming through and I knew that there was like this um this guy and he was manhandling this woman but everything was silent everything was silent it might as well have been a silent movie, right? And this person was like trying to overpower this woman. And I knew that she was panicking and that she was losing the fight. And it was, he might as well have had his, his, you know, hands around her throat, but he didn't. He had his hand. The one that I saw is he had like this torch thing in his hand, but the top of it wasn't a light. It looked like, you know, the cartoon of Hercules and you have hades and hades hair is made out of that blue that blue flame it was made out of that but it was almost like one of those lighters that you get that are wind resistant and it was just no sound 
but just firing out and he was trying to put it on her her wrist and i was like Bruh, this is not happening and marched straight up and like kind of just moved her out of the way like he was still trying to grab her arm and i grabbed hold of him and like we started tussling but it was no effort on my side and i don't know if that was me or again if it was someone from the collective there was no tussle like this this person was like proper trying to tussle with me and i just turned it and put the the a torch on his arm and as it went on his arm literally it melted straight through there was no blood no nothing and it just made a massive hole and the only sound was him screaming letting go and moving away like literally moving away and then i woke up and i remember that lady kind of like just disappeared and i feel like there is the energy of this person watching over you or one of their subtle bodies is watching over you in the astral realm and when anyone tries to send things and i keep hearing whoever they're with or whoever i don't even know if it's who they're with i feel like whoever they're separated from one of their friends could be this red witch or one of their friends plays around with dark ish and at some point they've realized that they are a third party because I don't feel like whoever this masculine is has cheated on the mother. But I do feel like this person was caged in some way and that they weren't supposed to be together in the first place. And that this person's now woken up to that. And I don't know if you kind of helped them in the ethers to wake up by cleaning something off of them. Or if you guys kept meeting up in the ethers and something clicked, something just clicked and this person can't stop thinking about you or I don't know how they've seen you. Because if this is not somebody that you know from the past, you guys have had past lives together. You've literally had past lives together. Because this I will watch over you with Wolf Moon. I'm surprised that if I don't get out the turret, if a sun card's going to come out, the sun and the moon. Because to me, the reason I'm saying that is because that is like divine counterpart kind of like connections. But you have, there's, there's either this person is protecting you, you are protecting this person, or you protect each other on the ethers. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. This person may want to send you some sort of gift. Look, reconsider your alliances, make new connections. And again, new skills, advanced training and rapid improvements is upside down. This person is realizing that they kind of have stuck themselves in some sort of situation that they don't want to be in or this they're realizing that they were lied to and not just by whoever it is that they end up having a child with but someone who was seen as their elder that they thought was trustworthy like they really took on what that person said simply because they were their elder like why would an elder lie to you why would they not be honest you know and yeah, they're gutted. They're literally gutted. Unyielding sadness of looking back. Endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia. So again, even if you have no um, connection to this person, like physically, this person has, they watch you in some way. I'm getting that for many people, there's something about online presence. And at some point they may have felt like there was a connection or there should be a connection or there's a draw towards you, something magnetic. And they were told to stay away. And they believed what they were told because who they were told by was respected, was their older. Like, why would why would I not believe what this person is saying? Let's take that one. You've got here dark moon. Spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. So this person for a very long time didn't, or you may be, be asking to do this yourself. And you've got to learn to defend yourself upside down. So that is kind of like self-explanatory. Someone here needs to be putting a bubble around themselves. I'm seeing this as well. Like someone needs to put a bubble around themselves or call in a light portal to remove any like dense energies around them. Um, Waning moon, let go of which is causing you inner turmoil. Now is the time for casting away emotions that no, are no longer serving you. So this person may be going through a dark night of the soul. They may be going through a dark night of the soul. Okay. And I heard this person wants to come towards you, but they have a very, very big decision to make. 
a very big decision to make. Use your words and move your body. If anyone here has been feeling like denser energy being sent towards them, I have a hex is a hex, a hex is a hex, but it can easily be removed. Easily. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. Yeah, exactly. Look, you're being told to move your body, use your words, return to sender, you know, ground it, give it up to Allah, to God, to the divine source, whoever it is that you give it to. Here, it is an auspicious time for new beginnings. Okay, in Sagittarius, be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take unexpected course. This person literally wants to come forward. They want to have a new beginning. But there, there are things that have been laid in front of them that are either slowing them down or making it very difficult for them to know how to move forward. Because I keep hearing the child. I feel like this person really loves their child. This child is really loved by both parents. But... This person is fully aware that there is no love between them and also like a, it's like a small community whether it's a mother-in-law or a grandparent or something along those lines this person like feels really duped or really used i heard for their money or for their their skill set or something along those lines because this person is mad talented like really talented really authentic in the way that they dress or the way that they style their hair or that the, the, just the way they express themselves move your body and you've got simplify and you've also got taurus in reverse this person they could be a physiotherapist they don't have to be they, they take care of themselves they definitely take care of themselves yeah they may run or lift weights um or there's something about squatting i don't know they may be a weight trainer now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. So this person may go to the gym quite a lot to kind of like um, clear their mind or to focus. And that's their way of like kind of meditation is using activities that help them to kind of just hone in. I don't know if this person has ADHD. I don't know why I'm picking that up for some. And remember, I'm not a therapist, so I cannot diagnose anyone. But there's something here about scatterbrain and the way that they bring it back in is by aligning their physicality with their mental body. Yeah, this person could be a Sagittarius, they don't have to be. Uh, but travel, they may travel a lot for their work. I heard expos, they go to a lot of expos. They go, they could. Why am I getting like, um, like Comic Con or the tattoo conventions or some sort of creative, um, networking kind of things? They go to a lot of those, or their job, um, expects them to go to a lot of these. I heard connections, connections, connections. They're good at what they do. They're really good at what they do. They have a unique talent is what I heard. Now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters is upside down. I don't, I don't know if somebody has been um, overspending or overdoing something or this person, they want, there's something here about wanting to move forward, but their finances are, are off kilter at the moment. Because learn to defend yourself. If they've just woken up to the fact that, you know, they've been lied to or they've been enchanted or they've had something going on, they may now be, especially with that download of them having to speak for their lawyers, they're probably having to pay out the nose for their lawyers. There may be them having to sell um, their illustrations, their paintings, printouts of them, um, things that they would have wanted to save, they're having to auction off or sell. I heard to the highest bidder. I heard practicality over monetary value. Why? One small change and blackout media. So they may... What's going on here? Explore your depths. This person's really throwing themselves into their work. They're really throwing themselves into their work because they're not okay. They're not okay. This person may be heartbroken. I feel like this person has like a really big heart. Or this person, like family is really important to this person. Really important to this person. One small change on blackout media. They may have blocked someone on um, I heard Facebook or social media or the other way around. They've been blocked from something. There may be a need for them to slow down and rest. Or there may be a need for you to slow down and rest. 
Let me show you these. I had worried sick. So this person may be this person may suffer from anxiety or they may get very stressed very easily. And I heard if this is for them, if you're watching and you resonate with being the father, do not burn yourself out. Do not you need to take time to just rest with that blackout media. You may need to get yourself like um the eye masks. You can get eye masks with um there's there's eye masks you can get with like certain flashing lights, right? And they are they're like a, um, a muted blue or a muted something. And they're supposed to like add a vibration so that when you have your eyes closed, it's supposed, it's supposed to like kind of do something for like focus and relaxation. Don't take my word on it, like Google it, but someone needs something like that. Or someone needs like their face massaged or they need, they need creature comforts. And the thing is as well is that that's all red. It's coming up like, I don't know if somebody is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. I'm getting real Aries coming through. Someone needs to take um, more rest periods. Because if you're going through this and you are, you know, being estranged from your child, there's a need to nurture yourself. Someone's really being told to nurture themselves. If you get time off from work or you, you know, you don't work on the weekend or certain days, rather than just powering down to the gym and like being there for hours on hours on hours, sleep in a little bit, have that rest, put some music on, listen to a meditation or something, do something that you wouldn't use, usually do for your body. If you've got cats, snuggle up with your cats. Because the thing is down here, this is all people talking. There's something about drowning out other people's opinions or other people, other people are saying, especially online. Because you've got simplify there. And you've also got let you've also got waning moon. Let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil. Now turmoil. Now is the time for casting away emotions that no longer serve you. Simplify it as well. Simplify how you do that. Because I heard don't burn yourself down to the core maybe changing what workout you do as well someone here needs somatic release or they need to do yoga and entrepreneurship is upside down and virgo issues surrounding health and exercise may come to the fore see focus on your physical well-being stop stressing and i know it's easy to say that because i'm not going through what you're going through but spirit is telling you to stop stressing if you overdo it even if your way of meditation or bringing yourself to focus is going and weight training. If you're overdoing it, you're going to hurt yourself. And then you won't be able to do the traveling that you do. Go to all these expos, go to all these comic cons or tattoo conventions or, you know, um, how you network and network and network. And you're going to mess yourself up. Now is the time to set long term goals and sow seeds for the future. So take your time. Take your time. And I heard for someone specifically, if you're going through this and you have a little girl, you will get her. That is for someone specific. You will get her, especially if you are having your um, accessing rights um, diminished or you aren't getting to see your child. That is for someone specific. And my heart goes out to you if you're not getting to see your child because that's effed up and no one deserves that. No one no one no one unless you are like a danger to that child and yourself no one does that so. anything else that needs to come up before i go anything else advice rebalance and regroup we've got an empath here it is time you will get through this exactly you've got rebalance and regroup so someone here needs to take time for themselves to be focusing on themselves to be nurturing themselves, be that you, um, you know, or the, the divine masculine that you are thinking about. Um, you've also got the narcissistic card in reverse, okay? So I don't know if somebody has been trying to um, place that label over your character of being a narcissist. If somebody's very manipulative in how they get other people to see you, I heard sometimes, for some it could be the courts, um, but it says it's not even about you finding this upside down. So someone here is definitely using a child as a pawn. And I, I hate that kind of behavior. Excuse my language, just hate is a very strong um, word. I strongly dislike anyone that uses a child as a way to hurt a parent when it comes to control and things like that. Mm -mm. We don't we don't do this. We shouldn't be doing this. Because it says find a little divinity divinity in yourself. 
and it's upside down so somebody here needs to um be nurturing themselves and looking after their mental health it is okay not to be okay as long as you are reaching out for support if you need to take your medication take your medication if you need to get a hug from someone and you have a friend that will give you a hug go and get that hug if you need to get talk therapy and you can afford to go and get it go and get talk therapy or go and speak to a friend because you've also got it is time and you will get through this so this is a rough patch for someone look ask for help man ask for help if you're not doing okay you can get through this but no one is an island remember that no one is an island and it is it is okay not to be okay it's okay to hurt to grieve to feel angry to feel sad but if you don't have to do it by yourself don't do it by yourself don't do it by yourself i don't know you but i love you you know pour that love into yourself as well you deserve it every breath can be a new beginning and it's upside down but yeah someone's definitely having a hard time and i'm really sorry i'm really really sorry that you're going through this when organizing like for like i don't know if somebody's moving or someone has a lot of cats someone's cats bring them a lot of um peace or i don't know if you've been thinking about fostering cats because i've seen lots of cats in all of these and if you've been thinking about fostering cats go for it fear nothing is coming out okay last card please and thank you last card what do we need here Moon and Cancer, spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. If you can, like, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if there's, like, a need for you to be around other people and you can, like, take either, like, a week off or a couple of days off and go and see your parents, if you are on, like, talking terms with them or you're comfortable doing so, or being around your siblings if you have them, or being around cousins, just being around family so that you can do things that, take your mind off of it and kind of ease you ease kind of ease that for you please go and do that I, I feel like spirit is saying that someone needs to be around family um even if it's just to go and do the mundane things like doing your laundry or setting up a table for dinner someone needs that right now okay yeah and then you've also got um take time to relax recharge and replenish your inner strength and it's upside down someone really needs this Okay, my heart goes out to you. I'm, I'm sorry that you're going through what you're going through. Anything else that needs to come out? You can build any kind of life you want. It's upside down. So this person may be feeling very stuck. Um, Anything else? I'm going to get out these ones. This one's, this one's, that one. Okay. Let's have a look over here. Toad. Observe for those who watch see all. I feel like at the moment, it, this can be quite all-encompassing. Like it's the only thing that this person's able to focus on, and it's understandable why. Um, and this is why distractions... In like one of my last readings, it was saying that, you know, don't let things distract you for too long. I feel like for whoever this resonates with, someone here needs a positive distraction right now. Something that will help them to rebalance and regroup. And um, that could, again, could be you, or could be that this divine masculine... And you've also got covered in reverse. I am you and you are me. When we come together, we are all we seek. So this person at the moment um, may be finding it difficult to see the bigger picture or difficult to kind of block that out or block out anything far what they're experiencing right now. And you've got pump pumpkin spice and apple cider. Nothing is more, more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. So there's, they're missing... I don't feel like they're just missing their child. They're missing some sort of connection. And I heard that they're missing, like, there's a yearning coming from this person. They may be yearning you, or they may be yearning the energetic connection that you have, that you may still have. Because this, like I said, this could be someone from your past. This could be someone that's not from your past, but you've just called out to each other, each other over the ethers. But there's definitely um, a sense of safety and home they get when they think about you. Or when they, I keep hearing like when they watch you online or when they go to sleep. Hmm. This person may light a candle to their ancestors and say a prayer. This person um, definitely is very spiritual. They may have like... Um, 
like personal like private unique kind of like little rituals they do for like their ancestors for the spirit realm i heard for agatha for someone agatha i don't know if that is like i heard it's someone's um imaginary friend from when they were a kid that they they may be realizing was a spirit agatha helps them interesting 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 i will show you whom to trust so this person's now learning to kind of listen to their intuition more than other people because maybe there has been a lot of kind of um gaining value from other people what they think of them and they're learning how that's whether i need to grow up a bit they're learning to have more emotional um emotional maturity it's not just emotional maturity it's more to do with kind of like trusting themselves or trusting that they can get value from themselves and that they don't really need to get it from other people i feel like this person is an over giver like cancer coming out for cancer moon deep deep feeler likes to help other people over gives maybe over gives to, to a fault kind heart i heard kind kind hearted and some this person's taken advantage of them apothecary cabinet without practice without befriending them they are strangers in your path so maybe this person stopped practicing or stopped doing certain like spiritual things maybe this person classes themselves as a witch or maybe they don't use any labels whatsoever they're very very connected to the divine they're very connected to nature but there may have been like an off switch for a while in some way because they've had to work so much or they have to kind of channel a lot of their energy into their job which is very creative but they are um i keep hearing they're your divine match or they are a match you've got carbon coming out again i am you you are me when we come together we are all we seek so this person's been blocked for a while wow okay and now they're waking up to it anything else can i get one more card for the collective advice 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 any advice please and thank you harvest moon slow your heart and gently and and move gently into the coming of self and tea magic i haven't pulled this one before so that's the harvest moon and then we also have tea magic reach into your subconscious pull from the source and weave magic with intention and the answers will unfold and then you also have queen of the dead and it says fear not the rage of fire living within for it is the power of your fierceness waiting to taste you fully and there's another snake coming through i feel like two parties be that you someone in the collective and whoever this masculine is are both going through a kundalini awakening and they can be scary they can be difficult especially if there's resistance especially i feel like this person may be going through a dark night of the soul as well and when you don't realize that's happening or you push against it it becomes more uncomfortable than it needs to be but it's like a snake shedding its skin it takes time it's uncomfortable it's you know it can be painful it's just slow and arduous but once that skin has come off you have shed what you don't need and there is brand new beautiful skin underneath so this person may be going through this there may be a need for them to lean into their anger or into their passion into where that rage is and why it's there and how to navigate it in a positive way in a positive way and i don't know who agatha is or if this person works with like um I'm getting like a dark feminine energy that's been coming up a lot like Hecate or Nephthyses, Anubis. They may be working with the masculine Anubis or Cyrus or I'm getting this person's very in touch with their divine feminine energy. And I'm not saying that they're effeminate. I'm saying that they are very connected to their sacral chakra up to their, their third eye, like how creative they are. And but they're having to open up to receive more because they give, give, give. And that number connects down to a four. Their ancestors are definitely calling to them. They want them to question why a lot more and to think deeper on certain things, on partnerships. Witches Rosary, craft your skills with intentions repeated, a practice of magic powered by purpose. Yeah, they they either come from a lineage of witches, shamans, priests, um, 
gods and goddesses there's something very um primordial very ancient that's coming from this person i feel like they um they're very powerful but they've repressed this to kind of like prioritize others their family other people um, they may be healing or being encouraged to heal a mother wound that they have. You may be encouraged or are healing right now a father wound. And I feel like you two together are going to help each other with that. But I keep hearing it takes time. It's going to take time. I feel like I should leave it there. Because look, intention keeps coming out a lot. It says here for whiskey, life should be sipped slowly with intention. Be patient as the vision reveals itself. I feel like this connection will be coming in and it's going to be beneficial for both parties. But I feel like both parties have been through quite a lot and have been learning quite a lot and have been healing quite a lot and have been evolving, expanding quite a lot. But this is not going to happen overnight and there's a need to be patient with each other when you do meet or if this is someone from the past that's coming in and it's something that you're open to. You don't have to be, but if you are... Patience is really needed. Setting intentions of what your role and their role is. I feel like there will be a working kind of like um, friendship first before anything else. I keep, I've said this before in readings. This may be a slow burning relationship that turns into something else. And it's supposed to be like that. You're going to learn from each other. But it is a slow burner. There's need for patience. There's really a need for patience but changes of foot. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and chari um, charity, <laughs> clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you and you'd like to see more and when I post, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that. And to my returning subscribers, hearts, kisses, soul family. I love you guys. You're awesome. See you later. Bye.